Welcome back. On January 10th, 2011, at approximately 10.30 p.m., a suspect committed an armed robbery at the Exxon gas station located at 8100 Crane Highway South in Glen Burnie, Maryland. Joining us now is Public Information Officer for the Police Department, Justin Mulcahy, with further details on the investigation. Justin. Thanks, Eric. The suspect initially entered the store, made a purchase, and then left. Now, a few minutes later, the suspect returned, displayed a small handgun to an employee, and took U.S. currency. The suspect was last observed fleeing the scene on foot towards the Green Tree apartment complex. The suspect in this case was described as a black male, approximately 5 feet 10 inches tall with an average build. So take a good look at their surveillance photos on the screen. Anyone with information is urged to contact Detective Eric Wills at 410-222-3432 or 3566. Or as always, you can contact Metro Crime Stoppers and remain anonymous. Moving on now to our second incident. That took place on January 25th around 9.06 in the morning. Now that's when officers from the Northern District responded to the 5300 block of Ritchie Highway in Brooklyn Park for a report of a citizen robbery. When officers got on scene, they spoke with a 25-year-old female victim who reported that she was walking in the area, approached by a male suspect who demanded money from her. The suspect threw the victim to the ground and proceeded to take an undisclosed amount of U.S. currency along with cigarettes and a cellular phone prior to fleeing the area on foot. Several officers in a canine unit canvassed the area but were unable to locate the suspect. The victim did not require medical attention. The suspect in this case is being described as a black male about 30 years old with a medium build, facial hair, gap teeth, and cross-eyed. He was also last seen wearing a gray sweatshirt with a hood, blue jeans, and black boots. Now, as always, if you have any information on any of the crimes or suspects we mentioned on the show, don't hesitate to email, call, or text your tip to Metro Crime Stoppers Hotline. The phone number is available 24 hours a day, toll-free at 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Additionally, you can text message MCS plus your message to crimes at 274-637 or visit the website at www.metrocrimestoppers.net. Remember, phone calls are not recorded and calls remain anonymous. You might be eligible for a cash reward as well of up to $2,000. Back to you, Eric. Thank you, Justin. In this week's Community Spotlight, Mark Chang from the Office of Community and Constituent Services is here to talk about Opportunity Builders, a very important nonprofit in the county that helps people with developmental disabilities be productive in the workplace. Mark? Thank you, Carla and Eric. I'm Mark Chang, and I'm over at the Opportunity Builders, Inc. main campus over in Millersville, right off of Veterans Highway. And Opportunity Builders, Inc., what they do is they focus on providing vocational development services for folks with developmental disabilities throughout Anne Arundel County. Today, I'm here with the Director of External Relations for OBI, Ms. Leslie Pruitt, Mr. Mike Fennessy, who is a board member for OBI and also the chairman of an upcoming fundraising event, Sean Clooney, one of the clients here, and Tim Clooney, who is the father of Sean Clooney. I'd like to start off, first of all, by st having to talk to Leslie Pruitt and just get an idea, what is the mission of OBI? Hi, Mark. Thank you for ha coming here today. What we do is we provide work to adults with developmental disabilities. Here in our warehouse, we uh, fulfill local and national contracts, um, assembly packaging and distribution type of contracts. Out of the warehouse, we have 200 individuals working for local employers um, at, at 70 local businesses. Great. And what types of contracts do you all do? It's a gamut. It's really um, ranges from um, packaging where we're, one of our main contracts is our good wrappers contract where we're putting labels on and then shrink wrapping to our um, uh, lock lace contract all the way to packaging um, and assembling uh, promo materials and letters for, for businesses. It's really anything, the sky's the limit. We always say call us and ask us about um, your project and your contract because we probably can work together and help businesses. If there are folks out there who would like to get to know more information about OBI, how can they do that? I would say go to OBI Works, that's O-B-I-W-O-R-K-S dot org, and there is two videos on the website. One is an eight-minute video that gives an overview of all of our services from how we service the individual. Um, it has a perspective from the parents, from the businesses, and it gives a really nice overview of OBI. There's a story on there about one of our individuals, how she was told at a very young age, her parents said that she would never walk, talk, or do anything, and now she is 
a um, cafeteria monitor at a local elementary school. And so the website is a really good resource of information. Great, I really appreciate you coming on the show, Leslie. Thank, Thank you. you. Going over to Mike Fennessy here. How are you doing, Mike? Hey, good morning, Mark. Well, great to see you, Mike. I've known you for 10 years, and you and I have done a lot of things in the community, and understand that you're a board member for OBI. Could you tell me what made you want to become a board member for OBI? Well, absolutely, Mark. Uh, when I was first approached to be a board member, uh, I was approached by an actual father of a client here. And that father told me, you know, if it, and when I say his son, his son was 41 years old at the time. And the client had told me if it wouldn't be for OBI, his son would have spent his entire life sitting in front of a TV set. And that son, OBI, not only opened up employment for his son, they also opened up uh, a whole new life for the son. I mean, it's a social environment. He's got friends and he comes to work. And the father told me the only downside is now he gets up on Saturday and Sunday and still wants to come to work. So it, it just tugged my heart. And all you got to do is look around at the smiles that are here. And it gives a purpose to somebody's life that has a disability. Well, great, Mike. Thanks a lot. And in addition to being a board member, you are the chairman of the upcoming Mardi Gras event that's coming up? Absolutely. Next Saturday night. And uh, we have uh, all kinds of fun, fun and games happening here. We have... We have games, we have music, we have great food, sound auctions, live auctions, just a lot of fun for the evening. So if you have nothing to do, come on down. We'd love to have you. And that's Saturday, February 5th, uh, 6 to 10, I believe? Yes, 6 to 10. Come on down. And how much are tickets? Tickets are $50. And this is a nonprofit organization. And it, would you say this is one of your bigger events and that community involvement is really important in this? Absolutely. It's one of our biggest fundraising events of the year. So... Uh, it means a lot to us, and uh, pray that there's no snow. Absolutely. Now, Mike, outside of this Mardi Gras event that's going to be occurring on Saturday, February 5th, what other types of ways can the community get involved in helping OBI both financially and also with uh, volunteering? Well, all they have to do is go to the website, and uh, we can accept the donations, financial, or financial donations. Uh, they can get involved in numbers of ways. We have a, a lot of different committees for different fundraisers. We have ball-a-thons throughout the year. We have the Mardi Gras. We have a golf tournament. They can come in and volunteer. So we'd love to have anybody uh, just go to the website and uh, sign up. Mike, as always, it's always great to see you out in the community, and thank you for all that you do for us in the community. Thank you, Mike. And now I'm here with uh, Sean Clooney. How are you doing, Sean? Uh, all right. Sean, how long have you been here? I've been here, today is Wednesday, and then we work in the morning until 9, and then we're doing wraps, and then put them in the machine right there, and then put them in the bins. Do you have a lot of fun doing this? Yeah. Are you making a lot of friends? Yeah, I make a lot of friends. Could you tell me what you and your friends do? Do you get a little bit of time to relax during the work day? Yeah. Oh, I was at McDonald's. I, I met the sheriff, the Merle County Sheriff, and then he, he works at McDonald's. And then I just take his hand and make sure he eats his lunch. Yep. Yeah. And then we had county police down at Merle County in Pasadena. And then they, they go to the firehouse down in Pasadena, yeah. Well, Sean, it sounds like you have a lot of fun here, and you're doing a lot of great work for the folks in the community throughout Anne Arundel County. And um, I just want to thank you for, ha for having you come on the show, okay? Uh -huh. And good luck, all right? Yeah, thank you. And this is your father here. Yes, this, this is my father. Okay. How are you doing, Dad? I'm doing good, Mark. How are you? Good. You're Tim Clooney, correct? Tim Clooney, yes. Okay. Tim, from your perspective as a father, could you tell the folks in the audience uh, how you as a father view OBI? It's, uh, it's a great thing. It's great for the, you know, for Sean, like this. It gives him independence, teaches him to, you know, get him away from mom and dad a little bit, and it's really cool, really cool. Well, thank you very much, Tim. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mark. So, so for all the folks out there watching, 
please consider OBI as an opportunity to be able to volunteer and also to give financially. And as was mentioned earlier, they're having a Mardi Gras event on Saturday, February 5th from 6 to 10 at the campus here in Millersville. And if you need more information, you can check out www.obiworks.org. Thank you and back to the studio. Thank you, Mark. Well, it makes you proud to see all those hard workers making a contribution with smiles on their faces. To find out more about Opportunity Builders and how you can help, you can visit them at www.obworks.org.